I'm gonna show you a stitch today that is like the number one best strong stitch to do when hand sewing. It's called the back stitch. Let me show you how to sew it by hand. I've placed my two pieces of fabric pretty sides together and I'm going to draw right at where I wanna sew this seam, which is a half inch. I've loaded my sewing needle with just a regular single layer of thread and I've knotted the end. The way that I'm gonna start this stitch is by coming up from the back of the fabric and sewing just a single stitch. Straight up, straight back down. The next part of this stitch is we are going to come up equidistant away from that first stitch up from the back here. And if I'm doing what's called the stabbing method, I'm going to go just a few hairs to the left of that original stitch when I go back and push straight down. Pull your thread nice and tight and then repeat that process again. What this is doing is it's backtracking on your original stitch and creating an even stronger stitch by doing so. Now, you don't have to do the stabbing method the whole way across. Once you get a little more comfortable with this stitch, you can do a sort of what's called the rocking method. And what that is, is I'm gonna push my needle in at an angle here and come back up from the back of the fabric and pull. And once you start doing that, it goes a little bit faster. But again, do what you're comfortable with. The main thing you're shooting for here is to try and keep those stitches about the same size all the way across. And like I said, that comes with practice and nobody is perfect. I've been sewing for a really long time and my stitches are never quite perfect. This stitch is essentially as close to what a sewing machine stitch would look like when hand sewing. So if you want something that looks similar, this is the type of stitch that you'll wanna do. Again, it's called the back stitch, and you are quite literally sewing backward to go forward. You absolutely can make these projects by hand if you don't have a sewing machine. It's totally fine. I wanna make sure you have the tools to be able to do this. I also feel like there's something therapeutic about the constant back and forth of pushing a needle and thread through fabric. For me, it's very calming and I like hand stitching. I don't mind it at all. This is how our ancestors sewed beautiful garments. We've reached the end of our line. So what I'm gonna do is do one final back stitch and I'm gonna flip my work over. Now, this is what the back side of it looks like and this is the front side. I'm gonna loop back through a tiny bit of my fabric while going under my last set of stitches. I've got a loop here. I'm going to go through that loop two times and pull it tight. Snip your thread and then let's see how this seam looks from the outside. See how nice and strong that is? And of course, if you were using a matching thread color, you wouldn't even see these tiny little stitches because they would blend right in. If you wanna press this seam, you absolutely can. Just open it up, press it nice and flat, and you're ready to move on to your next step of your project. So if you were sewing something like a garment where a seam is gonna be under stress, like an armhole or a shoulder or like on the sides of your body, this would be a fantastic stitch to do. Again, this is called the back stitch. I'm Chelsea with She Sews Seams. Like and subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.